Question 1. Tell whether the following is certain to happen. Impossible can happen but not certain. So we have to tell one option amongst these. Number first, you are older today than yesterday. And second is a tossed coin will land heads up. Third, a dive when tossed shall land up with feet on top. The next traffic light scene will be green. Last is tomorrow will be a cloudy day. Number first, you are older today than yesterday. Well, this is always true. Even with passing of every second, you are getting older. So it is certain to happen. Second, a tossed coin will land heads up. Well, a coin has two sides, heads and tails. There are only two sides of a coin. Well, it can happen it is not 100% sure that it will happen, but it can happen, therefore it is not certain. Third, a die when tossed shall land up with eight on top. Well, it is impossible. If you see a die, it has six faces, namely one, two, three, four, five, six. Even seven can never land up. So, it is also impossible. So, this is an impossible event. Fourth. The next traffic light scene will be green. Well, this can happen, but not certain, as it was the case with this coin. Because a traffic light can show you red, green, and yellow. It is not certain to happen, always. Now, tomorrow will be a cloudy day. Well, it can happen, because cloudy is one of the outcome. It may be sunny, rainy, or thunderstorms. But... It is not certain. So this was your first question. Second, there are six marbles in a box with numbers from one to six marked on each of them. First, what is the probability of drawing a marble with number two? Second, what is the probability of drawing a marble with number five? What is the probability of drawing a marble with number two? Well, as you can see here, this is a box, you can visualize it, and it has marbles numbering from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you start picking up marbles by actually not seeing it. So what is the probability of drawing a marble with number 2? It will be, the basic formula of probability is probability of any event, in this case of drawing a number 2, is given by number of favorable outcomes to A. Well, how many 2's are there? Only one marble having number two is there. Therefore, one came here. And total number of outcomes, how many marbles you can grab out of this box. So these are six. Therefore, six. Similarly, what is the probability of drawing a marble with number five? Again, how many five number marbles are there? Only one. Therefore, it came one. And total number of outcomes, again, you have six marbles. So the whole idea is that you are not actually viewing it or else the probability would be 100%. Third, a coin is flipped to decide which team starts the game. What is the probability that your team will start? Here, we know the basic formula of probability that we have learned in this chapter is number of favorable outcomes to A to total number of outcomes. So this is how you flip a coin. You are never sure that which side will come up. For example, head can come, tail can come. So, it is asking for what is the probability that your team will start. While well, your team can choose only one side, either head or tails. So, in a coin, total outcomes are only two, that is head and tail. Now, our team can opt either head or tail, only one of it. So, number of favorable outcomes will be one. And therefore, favorable outcome is one only. Now, the probability that our team can start is 1. We have known how it came. The total number of outcomes is 2. No other outcome can appear apart than head or tail. So, 1 over 2. Fourth, a box contains pairs of socks of two colors, black and white. I have picked out a white sock. I pick out one more with my eyes closed what is the probability that it will make a pair 
Number of total socks in the box is four. How we can say four? Because it contains pairs of socks of two color black pairs means uh, one pair contains two socks. So two plus two is four. That's why it came four. Now white color sock is taken. So I have picked out a white sock. That means only one sock is available now. You can omit one of it. So how many socks are available? One, two, three. And you are taking it randomly. Okay, that is eyes closed. You can't see it. Now what is the probability that it will make a pair? It means that another sock that I should take should be white, which is only one left now. Forget about this. Only one sock of white color is there and two of black color. That is what is written here. White color sock is already taken. Now socks left in a box equal three. That is two black and one white as you can see here. Now pair is made only when white color sock is taken. We have mentioned it earlier. If you take black color, then it will not be a pair. You can't fear different color sock at a time. That's what a pair means. Now probability that it makes a pair that is favorable outcome. That is only one. We need only one. Now total possible outcomes is three. One, two, three, not four because this is already taken. So the answer is one over three. That was the last question, question four.